Hello and welcome to HP Calcs. I'm Rick and today we're going to have a look at how to use combinations and permutations on the Casio FX 300 ES Plus calculator. To do this we'll be using the shift key that looks like this located here as well as the multiplication key with a shift function of permutation that looks like this located here and the division key with the shift function of combination that looks like this located here. All right, we'll start with combinations. We know that a combination is when we choose a certain number of objects from a larger set and the order that they're chosen does not matter. So for example, if we wanted to choose four objects from a set of 10, we would write it like this and we would solve it by entering the 10 on our calculator and then pressing shift and then the division key, which has the shift function of combination and you'll see a C appear on your screen. We'll then press 4 and equals and you get your result and we can see that if we have 10 objects and we're looking for combinations where we choose 4 we get a result of 210. There's 210 possible combinations. Another example if we have 100 objects and choose 3 we enter it like the 100, shift, division, there's our C and then 3 equals and we see there are 161,700 possible combinations of choosing 3 from 100. Alright, we can also do permutations and with permutations again we're choosing a number of objects from a larger set but in this case the order does matter. This means if we have object A, B and C and we choose 2 Choosing object A and B is a different result than choosing objects B and then A. For example, if we have 10 objects and want to choose 4, we enter the 10 again, and this time we use shift multiply, and we see the P appear there. We then enter 4 and equals, and we get our result, which is 5,040. So we know there are 5,040 possible permutations when choosing four objects from a set of 10. One more example, if we have 100 objects and want to choose three, place the 100 on the screen and then press shift, multiply, there's our P, and then three equals, and we see we have 970,200 possible permutations. All right. I hope this helps, and good luck on those tests out there, everybody.